Thank you so much, Tarek, for that. That was amazing. Um, okay, now we're going to do the uh, open mic portion. Uh, first, we have Ali Al Theory. So um, please welcome him up to the mic. Wait, good evening. All right. Uh, this one's called Leave Me Here. Take me back to that wonderful place called love. That is what I could have said, but stopped myself because you were the one that didn't say it back. I let you in every time. I let you eat with me. And the same table that we discussed the things that didn't work out, but never the things that could have easily turned my day into a better one. You stayed up with me when I was sick, even though I had no signs of sickness and no ability to realize that it was all in my head. You see me nervous and out of breath, but instead you told me to keep going. I never could look you in the eye, even though I knew the truth that could, for the life of me, save me. You were that plant, let me be specific, that cactus. So good to look at and can be, and can withstand water, being without water. But I knew that I couldn't reach out to you. Sunsets, you made seem like the most beautiful scenes and then decide to suffocate me with your arm of doubt around my neck and you kept telling me how good I am and not being good enough. You made me realize that without you, I could never move forward in my successes because they are not mine to keep. So you tell me you need them back because they are creations that you, that I should not be confident about. You hovered over me. When you said that you were confident in me to make a fraction of a decision that could take me to a better place, you locked my mouth shut. When I needed to defend myself from the harm of the pellets that come from the mouths of those that manifest their envy ocean, remember when you said the ocean was my downfall because all of the dreams that I worked hard for and make true are nothing but subtle whirlpools of immaturity. Take me back to that wonderful place called love. Were you ever going to take me there? Does it even exist? Does it fall between an intersection that I may have passed 10 times, but your manipulation has been pristine every time? Take me back to that wonderful place called love. Has that place been only you? Is it your house? Is it an alleyway that holds the graffiti so explicit that keeps those lines of my anxiety out of order because you never figured out how to make a house a home? Leave me here with this watch so I can tell time, so I can wake up on the right side of the bed next to the empty water bottle that I already pissed because I woke up 20 times. Just leave me here. Thank you. <laughs> 